Hi again. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two. Uh, this is Arts uh, and my opportunity to discuss and solve all the problems of the world. Our our weekly blog. Our two guys talking about stuff. kind of almost anything. Stuff. Yeah, stuff. stuff. Yeah. All right. Don't be modest. Okay. Yeah. So what's got, our stuff? What's our stuff? We got a corner on stuff. And as a matter of fact, the stuff we're going to be uh, talking about in just a few weeks is uh, about an interview we're doing with a fascinating guy, Leonard Sinchuk, who uh, we interviewed um, uh, him about a, a takeoff on a Christmas carol that he wrote, a great yes. book, uh, a novel. But he's a uh, licensed psychotherapist and uh, right. quite renowned and uh, uh, had g given TED Talks and everything else. And he's written now a book about uh, something that is right up his alley as a specialty. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about it, John? Yeah, it's uh, it's called, and I'm going to look at the title here, Power Tools for Men, A Blueprint for Healthy mm. Masculinity. And you know what? I think I think the world needs this book right about now. Um, I, I think men have been under attack as a species, maybe. And um, and Rick and his partner, who's uh, pardon me, uh, Leonard and his partner Rick, I should say, Rick Broniak, if I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Um, here's what somebody says: This is a down-to-earth breakthrough book that weaves heartfelt stories with practical concepts that promote healthy masculinity and help men thrive. Well, believe me, I'm all for healthy masculinity. Absolutely, I think as opposed to the unhealthy masculinity, uh, which well, is. But I don't think you're talking about French fries and fried foods. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's apparently, it's got a forward, I think, by Jack Canfield, who mm. wrote uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul, very popular series of books. And apparently it has a lot of those kinds of elements, real life stories combined with uh, uh, analysis, combined with uh, good advice, how to kind of stuff. So I think it, you know, knowing Rick, uh, pardon me, knowing uh, Leonard right. as we do, and having talked to him, I, I first of all, it's going to be a fascinating conversation, but his book, I'm sure, is is uh, going to be wonderful. I have a, um, a a review that somebody wrote. I wanted to read because I I thought it was very complimentary, but it gives you a good idea what the book is about. Um, it's by let's see, this review is from Jed Diamond who is a PhD and an author of 12 Rules for Good Men. So you can see these guys think alike. Here's the review. Leonard and Rick offer men a simple yet effective guide for navigating the confusing challenges we face in the 21st century. They bring years of experience and the power of two leaders who have been doing men's work for many years. In these confusing times, it's refreshing to read a book that cuts through the maze of conflicting views to bring men together. Unlike many books that heighten the conflict between men and women, Power Tools for Men offers men and women the opportunity to come together to end the battle of the sexes. As someone who has been involved in men's work for 50 years now, I consider Leonard and Rick colleagues in our joint efforts to bring about a world that is worth passing on to our children, grandchildren, and future generations. Now, I got to tell you, that sounds like a very useful book. So, so I'm uh, looking forward to talking to Leonard. Yeah, and uh, looking forward to uh, in a couple of weeks from now, uh, an announcing it once again to let people know that uh, when it'll be available, I'm sure it'll be in uh, uh, four or five weeks within that frame. We'll we'll promote it vociferously. Oh, that too. <laughs> if it doesn't hurt too much, yeah. Well, well. But then you'll have your masculinity, you know, on steroids. But anyway, well, it'll, it'll be very it'll interesting. Vociferousness, yeah. So, so sure. uh, a great uh, Leonard is just actually a great guest. We're looking forward yep. to it. If it's a, uh, you can go check him out uh, uh, on our YouTube channel and look uh, for his Christmas Carol uh, uh, version. Uh, take off on that, and yeah. uh, you'll see an interview with him then. And I'm sure you want to come back for this as well. So anyway, okay, and, and look for the video and we'll see you soon. Absolutely. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, 
and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.